coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with my top five berries and pinks video that's in collaboration with my best friend Samantha. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. What we have going on here is every Thursday we post our top five favorite blanks. So she will post her top five, I will post my top five, and together combined you will get a top 10 of Fabulosity. Basically we just pick our top five favorite whatever products. She has uh, cool undertones, she is fair complected, and she has different preferences than I do. I have neutral to warm undertones, I am light complected, and I also have different preferences. So what we do is we come together once a week and we share with you our top five favorites. Today we're talking about pinks and berries, or mauves, probably berries. I like to say berries because it sounds more girly and cute. But before we get started, if you guys want to know a special piece of information, a special announcement, a special bit of information, honestly, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what to say. I want to share with you guys something at the end of this video. So if you care to know, then stay tuned until the end. That's basically what I'm trying to say. This is Native from Urban Decay from the Revolution Lipsticks. You guys, how many Revolution collections do they have now? They have the sheer ones. Now they have the matte ones. These are the original ones. These are the OG ones to match my uh, <laughs> Mr. T chain. Um, uh, oh, they're so delicious. They're so creamy they could literally get like in your armpit. So you really want to make sure that you use a reverse lip liner or a lip primer like from Max, you know the Mac Prep and Prime one. So they're super creamy, they can get everywhere, but this is like the prettiest, softest, most delicate baby pink that doesn't make my teeth look yellow. <laughs> so I really, really like this one. This other one is Pink Plaid from Mac and it is a matte finished and I don't feel like it is. It doesn't feel matte. It doesn't dry out my lips. It doesn't pull on my lips. It's very creamy. I don't need like a chapstick underneath it. So it's super comfortable. This is like the older sister of Urban Decay's Native. It's a little bit more blue based and it's a little bit darker. It's almost like um it almost has like a hint of lavender, doesn't it? It's such a unique pink. I really like it especially because this pink with a brownish nude lip liner, I know it sounds weird, believe me, it is so pretty. So with like a brownish nude um, lip liner, it is so pretty. With a berry, like a purpley berry lip liner, so pretty. This is one of those really pretty pink lipsticks that's like, mm-hmm, you take me where you want to go, baby. The next one is a melted uh, lipstick from Too Faced, and this is in Melted Peony. Oh, this color. I like this color because it is a warm pink. It is a pale warm pink, which is very strange. Like, you hardly ever see any pale warm pinks, but also because it makes me look tan. There are very few lipstick shades that are pale that I can rock because I'm already pale myself, but that will also make me look tan. And I really love this one. I wanted to include Melted Fig, but here is a Cliff's Notes version. Sam is going to talk about it in her video today. So, oh, this color. Mm -mm -mm. I love this color. And it kind of, you see right now how it's like, opaque but a little shiny and glossy throughout the day it kind of wears like the the gloss wears away it dries down and it almost turns into a liquefied lipstick almost but it never quite dries down like one of those long wearing lip colors it will stay on but it's not like it doesn't cement itself onto your lips like those other ones that I'm talking about but look at that oh isn't that beautiful? I love this color. I should just leave this on for the rest of the video. This next one is like the queen of berry lip colors. This is Uptown Mauve from Milani. Mm, I mean, do I need to say anything? 
honestly. Do I need to say anything about this color? It is so beautiful. On some people, it looks more purple. On other people, it looks more bright magenta. On me, it looks... It can look like whatever it wants to look like. Look at this color. Oh, I love this color. Again, I will have a disclaimer for Milani lipsticks. If you don't like fragrance, these are like Maybelline lipsticks. It has a really unique, really strong fragrance. These smell kind of like watermelon. Um, after prolonged use, if you decide to wear it all day, it can be a little drying. I'm guessing because of the fragrance, but mm, I don't care. Just break my lips off. And a really weird combination, if you have the lip liner Y2K, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. It's basically almost black. The combo is amazing. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you this. Trust your panda mama. I have one more to swatch for you guys, and I kind of don't want to take this one off. Right? Is it pretty? I hope you guys agree. Am I, am I totally colorblind and it's totally atrocious? I really love this color. You need to tell me in the comments if you like this color because I really like it. Maybe it's just because of this blue that it just, mmm. I'm having an affair right now with this lipstick. What the heck? And this last one, I was a little bit hesitant to share it with you guys or to include it as my top five, but I just couldn't, I couldn't help myself. The color is so beautiful. This is almost like an ashy or gray, Berry Move. This is from OCC and it's the color Lydia. Now, this goes against all my beliefs for lip products. It's minty. It's high maintenance. You need a lip liner. You need a lip brush. I mean, it's it goes against all that I believe in for lip products, but the color is unlike any other color I've ever seen, so it's worth the struggle. First world problems. CC lip tars were designed so that you could create your own custom shades. So they're really liquidy and you're able to kind of mix them together and create your own signature color. This color on its own is just absolutely amazing. But because I do have a little bit of trouble with bleeding, I do have the complimentary lip liner. I bought these at the makeup show here in Dallas, but I'm pretty sure that Ulta or Sephora has them now. They have OCC now. I'm pretty sure I've seen it there. This is one of their best sellers. I love this color. It's it's like a, like I told you guys, like a berry or ashy, mauvey purple. It's such a unique color and look how pretty it is. I really, really like it. I would use this color all year round, but I would probably say it's more of a fall color, but who cares, right? Because we're makeup lovers unite. There are no rules. Do whatever you want. We're all unicorns here. So those were my top five pinks and berries. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to head over to Samantha's channel. I will have her video linked down below to see what her top five favorite pinks and berries are. I'll kind of already know because I cheated because that's how I roll, but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool, right? Is it cool? <laughs> I'm just kidding. And the special news or a little bit of information. If you guys are going to be in the DFW area this weekend, guess who else will be in town? Ma Bifferoni, Bifferones, Chima's godmother. That's my chihuahua. Uh, Samantha's actually going to be in town this weekend. So if you guys are going to be in town, check out, look out for our tweets or Instagram posts because we do want to meet you guys. So we're going to... We haven't really decided what we're going to do, where we're going, what time, or anything, but we will keep you guys in the loop as to where we are. So if you guys want to come out and give us a big old hug and say hello to us, probably get a second mortgage with the amount of shopping that we want to do, um, then look out for our social media posts because we want to keep you guys in the loop. So check out for our posts, check out Samantha's video, and I think that's it guys. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or heard something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!